In this video I'll be demonstrating how to create a column chart in Google Sheets. Specifically this is for working with geographical data in Stage 5 Geography for New South Wales. But it is applicable for many other purposes where you want to create charts in a spreadsheet. So first of all you need to log in to your Google Drive account. Ours is a Google Apps for Education account. Then we go to New and Google Sheets to create your new Google Sheet. Once the Google Sheet comes up, the first step is to name the document. Uh, that's to make sure that it's easy to find when you want to. So we just click where it says Untitled Spreadsheet and we put in the name for our spreadsheet. The next step is to type in our data uh, and we do this in the cells here. So once our data is in there I'll just expand these columns just so you can see what we're looking at here. So here we're looking at percentage changes in population between states and the whole of Australia. To create our chart we highlight the sections, uh, the cells that contain, that's the columns and rows that contain the data that we want to include in our chart. We then go to use the insert chart tool So we want a column chart, so we select the chart type we want. Now that's pretty good. Um, it give, it's picked up the information we want. It's separated it by states. It's given us a key, so we know what the different colors represent. And you see by hovering over, it will give you the data. Uh, but we, I want to change the title. Your chart has to have a, a, an appropriate title, and that title is not what we want it to say. So we go to customization and we click in title. Now if you triple click it'll select everything in that cell um, and we'll call it contributions to Australian population growth. And you can do other things, change the colours, the font and so forth, but I'm quite happy with that so I click on insert. And it will place that into my spreadsheet. From here I can move it, I can make it larger, I can print it, and as with everything in Google Drive, it will automatically save as I go.